How's it going guys? I wanted to make this separate video about the skills just so the part two will create the same long and tedious for you guys. So we'll quickly run through the skills for the people that wanted to see it. Uh, there's eight skills in total. They all have different variations. So we'll quickly look at them, read through the description so you guys get an idea of what these skills do if you're looking to pick up the Division 2. So let's start with our first skill, Pulse, and this is Scanner Pulse. The Scanner pulses the surrounding area for hostiles and visually highlights them on the agent's HUD. And they have a preview window which you guys can see what the skills do. Move on to the next one, this is Remote Pulse. The remote is deployed at a set location and continually pulses the nearby area for hostiles and visually highlights them on the agent's HUD. And our next one is Jammer Pulse. The Jammer pulses outwards, overloading and disabling hostile electronics. And that's our three variations for Pulse. We'll move on to our next skill, which is Turret. And this one is Assault Turret. The Assault Turret automatically tracks and attacks hostile targets, but this behavior can be manually overridden to target a specific enemy. Our next one is Incinerator Turret. The Incinerator Turret is manually controlled by the deploying agent to dispense stream of flame in a forward facing cone. And our last one is Sniper Turret. Sniper Turret fires high caliber rounds at manually selected targets. And that's our three variations for Turret. Move to Hive. This is Restorer Hive. The Restorer Hive sends out micro repair drones that expend themselves to repair allies' armor. Our next one is Stinger Hive. The Stinger Hive sends out micro drones that attack and distract nearby enemy targets. Our next one is Reviver Hive. The Reviver Hive deploys small drones. That, repair, that revive nearby downed allies. And our last one is Booster Hive. The Booster Hive delivers a stimulant to nearby allies that increases their combat efficiency. And we have four variations for Hive. We'll move on to our next skill, Chem Launcher. And this is Reinforcer Chem Launcher. The reinforced canister disperses a cloud of gas that repairs and reinforces the agent's allies' armor. Our next one is Firestarter Chem Launcher. The Firestarter canister creates a cloud of explosive gas that can be ignited through explosives, weapon fire, etc. And our next one is Riot Foam Chem Launcher. The Riot Foam Gas canister fires a payload of sticky foam that immobilizes targets. And our last one is Oxidizer Chem Launcher. The oxidizer canister releases a cloud of corrosive gas that damages enemies' armor, skill proxies, and causes damage over time. And like Hive, we have four variations of the Chem Launcher. Our next one is Shield, and this is Bulwark. Shield. The Bulwark Shield provides near full body coverage, but its bulk means that only sidearms may be used while it's equipped. The next one is the Crusader Shield. The Crusader Shield is light is a lighter shield that allows all primary weapons to be equipped while it's equipped, but exposes the agent's legs. And the last one is the Deflector Shield. The deflector shield causes incoming bullets to ricochet to a nearby highlighted target with a clear line of sight to the agent. Though it is not full body shield, lack of brace means that only a sidearm may be used alongside the shield. And that's our three variations for the shield. Next one we have drone, and this is striker drone. Striker Tracks targets and attempts to maintain a line of sight while continuously firing. Next one is 
defend the drone. The defender attempts to deflect incoming bullets from a sonic emitter mounted underneath the drone. Next one is Bombarder drone. The Bombarder requires an agent set two point and then deploys a payload of miniature explosives between them. I need to get the smell out. And our last one is Fixer drone. The Fixer replenishes nearby allies' armor or can be manually targeted to a specific ally. And we have four variations for the drone. Our next one is Seeker Mine. And this is Explosive Seeker Mine. The Explosive Seeker Mine can be deployed to track down hostiles and explode on reaching close proximity. Our next one is Airburst Seeker Mine. The Airburst Seeker Mine rolls towards its target and launches an explosive burst into the air on reaching close proximity. And our last one is Cluster Seeker Mine. The Cluster Seeker Mine splits into smaller seekers and track down enemies exploding when reaching proximity. And we have three variations for the Seeker Mine. The last one is Firefly. This is Blinder Firefly. The Blinder f fire Firefly blinds enemies that passes over, causing them to be unable to function at full combat effectiveness. Our next one is Burst of Firefly. The Burst of Firefly attaches explosives, explosive charges to enemies that detonate if two are in close proximity. And our last one is Demolition Firefly. The Demolition Firefly damages or destroys enemy weak points, skill proxies, and environment explosives. So that's our eight skills and all the variations. Um, I didn't want to add it to the part two walkthrough just in case that video was too long and too dragged out for you guys, like I said. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, give it a thumbs up and a like and a comment. I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. But until the next video, thanks guys.